Welcome to the National Cancer Institute's Childhood Cancer Data Initiative Hub, an entry point to the resources you need to unlock the full potential of childhood cancer data. With user-friendly, interoperable tools, secure access, and a wide range of diverse data types, the CCDI Hub empowers you to find, access, analyze, and use harmonized data sets from institutions across the country. Let's look at how to use the CCDI Hub's Explore Dashboard to find and access these data to fuel your research. Say you want to create a cohort of children, teens, and young adults with neuroendocrine tumors. Start by heading to the CCDI Hub at ccdi.cancer.gov. Click on Explore. Here, you'll find the CCDI Explore Dashboard, a tool that allows you to explore an inventory of nearly 1 million files of CCDI managed data and counting. Now that you're in the Explore Dashboard, you can perform filtered searches and build cohorts of individuals based on criteria, such as diagnosis. There are filters related to diagnosis, demographics, treatment, treatment response, survival, and more. For this tutorial, we'll focus on diagnosis. In the filtered search on the left, click on the diagnosis section and under the first drop-down menu labeled diagnosis, type neuroendocrine into the search bar. Here we see four types of neuroendocrine tumors. If your search produces more results, you can click on view expanded display to see the full results list and make your selections. For this video, we'll select all the neuroendocrine tumor types. You'll notice that as we make our selections, the visualizations on the right are updated in real time. The tables below the visualizations are also updated in real time. Each table has de-identified information on the participants, studies, samples, or files that meet your search criteria. Say you want to refine your search further to show only female participants who contributed blood samples. You can do that using the relevant filters. You can even create up to 20 cohort groups at a time based on your specific requirements. Click on Participants and select as many rows of metadata as you want. Then. Click Create Cohort. A view of all cohorts window will pop up where you can view, edit, or delete a cohort. You can then download a manifest of a selected cohort. Data files can also be added to the My Files cart from any of the tables. For example, you can download study metadata from the Studies table, add single files listed in the Files table, or add all files for an individual, de-identified participant by selecting that person in the participants table. Once you have all the files you want, head to your My Files shopping cart and click on Available Export Options. Here, you can click on Export to Cancer Genomics Cloud to load the manifest directly into your Cancer Genomics Cloud account. You can also choose Download Manifest to get a comma-separated values file manifest of the items in your cart that you can download to your computer or upload to the Cancer Genomics Cloud for further analysis. It's important to know that raw CCDI data is housed and protected in a controlled access environment. So, you will need access to the database of genotypes and phenotypes, or dbGaP, to see these raw data. Head to ccdi.cancer.gov slash user dash guide dot pdf to access the user guide in the hub for details on how to get dbGaP access or navigate to the pdf under the about tab. That wraps up this brief tutorial. We hope this empowers your research and inspires you to explore all of CCDI's resources. We also welcome your feedback and questions. Email us at NCI Childhood Cancer Data Initiative at mail.nih.gov. And thank you for supporting CCDI.